What happens if a friendly Santa Claus suddenly turns into a sly prankster Grinch? Watch a compilation of Christmas pranks played by the best-known bearded man of the world. It's Christmas Eve! Wow, it's magic season when the best-known bearded man of the world is coming down a chimney. No, it isn't Gandalf the Grey from Lord of the Rings. Neither is it Dumbledore from Harry Potter. It's a real Santa Claus. Oh yes, Santa! Descending the chimney is kind of a workout. Will you start doing yoga? Santa Claus is at work. He's putting gifts into stockings hanging above a fireplace. Here are our main Christmas characters. A kind and nice golden-haired girl has made a snack for Santa. Good girl! And this is a blue-eyed girl. She sees milk and cookies and thinks the golden-haired one has made a snack for herself. She wants to prank her friend and put salt into the milk. Let's see what happens afterwards in this Christmas story. When his job's finished, Santa drinks his milk cocktail. Wow! What's going on? Is he lactose intolerant? Oh no! The pranking milks turned a generous Santa into a sly prankster Grinch. And now he's going to prank everyone! Firstly, he changes everything. He replaces good gifts with fake ones. The Grinch puts no candies or toys into Christmas stockings, but multicolored Orbeez. Pour water into a bowl full of Orbeez beads. Wait until they swell. It may take a few hours. You'd better keep them in water overnight. When the beads grow up, pour out the water. Put Orbeez into a felt Christmas stocking. Watch our previous videos to know how to make such a stocking. Oh, sly Grinch! Do you care about the girls' figures? And that's why you don't give them sweet gifts? Are you not as crafty as you want to seem? Bad boys and girls will get a surprise chocolate Santa Claus. The Grinch continues his evil activity. Suddenly, he hears someone coming. He hides inside a large box with Christmas decorations. He appears to be quite small to fit in the box, so he can't be seen. The girls enter the room to decorate their Christmas tree. They don't know the Grinch has spoiled all the ornaments. Don't use these balls for decorating. Inflate balloons to fit ornament size. Apply a glue coat. Sprinkle with glitter. Put on hairspray to fasten the sparkly coat. Cut off the tails and attach clips. The friends hang the ornaments on the tree. There's a bang all of a sudden. The balloons popped. What a pity. My favorite color. My favorite size. But who is it that's changed the balls? It's strange. Is it a goblin? The balloon can pop as well as change its shape. It flattens when pressed and turns into a ball shape again. The girls reach out for serpentine streamers, but they've been glued. Unwind a serpentine streamer a little. Hot glue a few coils. Put it back into the package. The girls suspect each other. We're going to watch an epic Christmas story. The golden-haired one brings a gift and bites a piece of wrapping. She seems to get really angry if she chews on the paper. Paint a piece of rice paper using red food coloring. Make it wet before wrapping around a gift to let it be flexible. Shape a candy wrapper. Stick the seams using water. Decorate it with sprinkles. Wind a ribbon around it. The blue-eyed girl can eat the wrapping as well, only she's got the real inedible paper. Oh! What's there inside the box? Someone's put in a lot of effort to pack this gift. Put on a lot of cable ties around a little cube-shaped box. How can we open it? Is there anything precious in it if it's packed so thoroughly? The girls are still getting angry with each other when suddenly... What's this? It's a ghost! They carefully come up to the box. Ah! It's a green monster! Oh, where is it gone? 
What was that? And what happened to all of our gifts? There are strange balls in my stocking. Wow, I'm lucky to get a chocolate Santa. Take a chocolate Santa. Carefully take off the wrapping. Cut the chocolate along the sides to get two halves. Spread mustard over the inside. Heat the edges above a flame and attach the halves. Smooth the seams with your finger. Put the chocolate Santa back into the wrapping. I bite the chocolate. Ugh, it's ghastly. Let's try another gift. I hope there's something good. Inflate balloons, twist them to fasten without tying up. Put them into a box with their tails down. When open, there's something flying out of it. Surprise! What's there inside this box? Take a little box and wrap it around with paper. Place it into a bigger box. Guess what we should do further? Right you are! Wrap it again into beautiful paper. Put this box into another bigger one and continue until you're out of boxes. It's a puzzle box principle. Decorate the latest box with a paper rose. The girls are surprised at what Santa's brought them. A set of gift boxes doesn't seem to be a good gift. Why did he do that? Is there a present in the last box? Wow! It's a chocolate Santa Claus! But my friend doesn't recommend eating it. Bitter experience has taught her. The frustrated girls go to bed. They hope things will change for the better in the morning. When the blue-eyed girl wakes up, she hopes for a miracle. Rushing to her stocking, she bumps into the golden-haired girl. The girls go downstairs. Have the yesterday pranks disappeared? Oh no! There are no real gifts neither in the stocking nor under the tree. But the girls want to have fun. To get in the Christmas spirit, they go for a walk. But here's the Grinch following them. He puts fake gifts into the girls' pockets. They're so excited about the Christmas shop window that they seem oblivious to what's going on around them. Hey girls, watch out! The golden-haired girl finds mittens in her pocket, though she can't put on one of them. You'll need mittens. Sew one in the middle using thread of the same color. It's strange. Why has someone sewed down the mitten? Who can wear it? Captain Hook? My lips have dried out because of the cold. I'm lucky my friend has a lip balm. You'll need a candy cane and an empty lipstick container. Cut a piece out of the candy and put it into the container. Twist it down and put on the cap. She gives me her lipstick. What? Is it a candy stick instead of a lipstick? My friend is angry because I try to bite a piece. I want to pop a firecracker I found in my pocket to prank the golden-haired girl. I'm pulling the cord and pulling and pulling. This cord seems to be endless like winter in Game of Thrones. Make a cut in the bottom of a firecracker. Take a long piece of twine. Hot glue the end into the tube. Tuck the twine inside. Attach the bottom. My friend wants to know what I'm up to. What? It's nothing. That's the limit. These Christmas pranks have gone too far. It's time to take revenge on the Grinch. We're going to make a noisy Christmas. We attach secret firecrackers all over the house. Take the cord out of a firecracker. Tie up another piece of cord. Attach a firecracker on top. Tape the rope end to the door. The Grinch runs to the fireplace. Run, baby, run! As soon as you open the door, a firecracker will pop up. The shockwave knocks him off his feet. He's entrapped. We've caught him. We've tied him up thoroughly. We're going to cure you. Don't worry, our green friend. We make the Grinch to drink tasty milk. It'll remove the magic spell. Hooray! He's turned into Santa again. His beard suits him better than a green tan. We've saved Christmas. Santa can fix up everything. Did you like the Christmas story? And what about the Christmas pranks? Write in your comments which side you are on, the nice girls or the green Grinch. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss our new stories.